everyone, Dick Norris here. I'm going to show you how to measure the strike and dip of bedding uh, using what's called the right hand rule. And as you may recall, I have a nice dipping surface here. Uh, the strike, of course, is a approximately, well, it is a horizontal line in the surface of that bed, which I've approximated by the tape. So that's the strike. Uh, and then the dip is the angle perpendicular to strike uh, from horizontal down to the surface of the bed. Uh, and so that's being measured as an angle. We'll measure this as an azimuth direction and this as an angle. Now to do this, we use a transit compass like this. This has a sighting arm and if you hold the compass um, you know, facing where the sighting arm is facing away from you, you're going to read the north end of the needle, which in this particular compass is white. Um, but it may be a different color for your compass. This compass is also a, a azimuth style compass. It goes from zero to 360 degrees uh, in the inner ring of measurements. Now the big problem you've got is do you measure the strike like this or do you flip the compass around and measure the strike like that? Um, those, of course, are going to give you completely opposite numbers, uh, and so that's not very helpful for the most part. We and in order to solve that problem, we use what's called the right-hand rule. Uh, so you raise your right hand, you've got your thumb here and your fingers here, and if you lay your hand on the surface of the bed, your thumb represents the strike direction that you're going to measure, and your fingers, of course, are representing the down-dip uh, direction. And so we can hold the compass where the sighting arm is parallel to your thumb. Uh, and that gives us a unique azimuth direction uh, that we can report that, um, that does not confuse the direction of azimuth uh, between these two po possible directions. And so if we now use the bubble level in there to get the compass horizontal uh, and then hold the damper down, I get a measurement on this part of the ring of the azimuth ring of about 305 degrees as the uh, true azimuth direction of strike uh, in the surface of the bed. Now to get the dip, we use the inclinometer arm back here and we uh, hold the compass, of course, perpendicular to strike uh, and get the bubble level in the middle uh, properly centered and about like that. Um, and I get a measurement of about 39 degrees. That's measured off the inner scale uh, here, uh, where you line up the zero number of the inclinometer arm uh, with that inner scale to get the dip. So we have a unique azimuth direction, 305 degrees, uh, and a unique dip of 39 degrees, uh, measured by the right-hand rule. Great, thanks.